The new iPad, which is the 10th generation, seems to be the new beginning of the iPad line. It has a bigger screen, a faster processor, and a better design than the 9th generation iPad, which came out in 2021 and has been the entry-level iPad for the past few years. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel before we talk more about the iPad. Price and release date. The iPad was releases on October 26, 2022. The base model costs $449, which is $120 more than the least expensive iPad 10.2 inch model, which costs $329. If you want 5G cell service, it will cost you at least $599. Design and colors. Finally, this is what I told myself when I first looked at the iPad 10th generation. Apple has made the screen bigger, from 10.2 inches to 10.9 inches, and got rid of the old home button in the process. The iPad's power button has Touch ID built in, so all you have to do to unlock it is rest your finger on the button. I tried out the yellow model, which is a mix of yellow and gold, and looks very bold. You can also choose blue, pink, or silver. The one I like best is blue. Display the iPad 2022's 10.9-inch screen won't blow your mind, but it's a good one for the price. In our lab tests, the iPad 2022 got as bright as 504 nits, which is just about the same as what Apple says. That's good, but if you look at this panel in direct sunlight, you might have trouble seeing it like I did. Magic Keyboard If you want to use your iPad as a mini laptop, the Magic Keyboard Folio is a great accessory to buy. Even though they cost $249, the keys are responsive and have a good 1mm of travel. The kickstand on the Magic Keyboard Folio is easy to adjust, and I was able to type pretty steadily even with the iPad 2022 on my lap, though it did move around a bit. Apple Pencil For a company that prides itself on smart design, it's really hard to understand. The latest second-gen Apple Pencil doesn't work with the iPad 10th gen, so if you want to draw, take notes, and do other things on this iPad, you'll have to pay $99 for the first-gen Apple Pencil. There are a few big problems here. First, the Apple Pencil has nowhere to go when it's not in use. The Apple Pencil 2 can be magnetically attached to the top flat edge of the iPad Air and iPad Pro to make it easy to store, and they can both charge it while it's attached. It gets worse. To pair and charge the first-generation Apple Pencil, you need a separate USB-C to Apple Pencil adapter. This is because the pencil still uses the old lightning connector instead of the newer USB-C connector. Performance The iPad 2022's A14 Bionic chip is plenty fast, which it should be since it's the same chip that's in the iPhone 12. In a game like Genshin Impact, the animations were smooth, and the iPad worked well even when I tried to use my sword to fight off three enemies at once. On Geekbench 5, which measures overall performance, the iPad 2022 scored 1,580 on single core and 4,400 on multi core. This is a big improvement over the 9th generation iPad, which scored 1,384 and 3,387, respectively. Camera The back camera on the iPad 2022 is better than the one on the iPad 2021, going from 8 megapixels to 12 megapixels and the 12 megapixels front camera has been moved from the top edge to the long edge. This makes video calls in landscape mode feel more natural, especially when your iPad is docked in the Magic Keyboard Folio. The iPad 2022 has a 12 megapixels camera on the front that is now set up in landscape mode above the long edge of the screen. This makes the iPad better for video calling. Battery life and charging. The iPad 2022 should last most of the day on a single charge, so you probably don't need the 20 watts charger that comes with it. The iPad 10th generation lasted a great 10 hours and 57 minutes on the battery test, which involved continuous web browsing at 150 nits of screen brightness. We're glad that the iPad 2022 can be charged via USB because, in our test, it meant that it could be charged faster than the previous model. The new iPad got to 26% in 30 minutes, compared to 19% for the lightning-equipped iPad 9th gen. Even though it's not a big step, I'll take it. If you loved our review, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.